Hello, grade four. This is part three of unit three, lesson one, the Arab Islamic identity and the factors influencing its formation. Objectives state how the Arabic language and common history help shape Arab Islamic identity and enumerate the customs of one's country that show Arab Islamic identity. So let's begin by reviewing the concept of Arab Islamic identity. So what does it mean to be an Arab Muslim? Okay, so Arab Islamic identity refers to distinct or unique qualities and private behaviors derived from history of the Arab nation, which is a shared history among all the Arabs, heritage or uh, those customs and practices we have inherited from our ancestors and the principles of the Islamic religion. So last time we have discussed about the first factor that influences the formation of the Arab Islamic identity. Okay, there are three factors, the first of which would be the Islamic religion. So Islam is a religion of truth. Moreover, the Islamic behavior is an honest mirror that reflects the principles of the true Islamic religion, which grants Muslims pride and dignity, and they have to stick to the Islamic values and principles. So an Arab Muslim is guided by the teachings of Islam, basically, okay? So how does an Arab Muslim show his identity? Of course, there are ways, okay, like uh, through the form of rituals, okay, being an honorable model of the faith, and also through the following festivals and celebrations. So we have discussed about the holy month of Ramadan, where in Muslims fast perform the optional night prayer, do good, in addition to some popular practices which are unique to each of the Arab communities and which form the Arab Islamic identity. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, we have to be honorable models, okay, of the faith. And part of this would be celebrating, okay, or observing the holy month of Ramadan. Another would be the great occasion of pilgrimage. Okay, so what happens during a pilgrimage? It's when there's a gathering of thousands of Muslims in the sacred house of Allah, for performing rituals of pilgrimage that contributes to shaping the aspects of the Islamic identity. And also, let's not forget that Islamic religion has two blessed feasts. Okay, you have the Eid al-Fitr and the Eid al-Adha, which are celebrated by Muslims all over the world through their own rituals that distinguish or differentiate them from others. So this would also contribute to the formation of the Arab Islamic identity. So if you practice these things, then you are a true Arab Muslim. However, you also have to uh, recognize that there are two other factors, okay? You have the Arabic language and the common history of all Arab nations. So let's talk about the duty towards Arab Islamic identity, okay? So as a student, you can learn all computer programs to benefit yourself and enhance your knowledge. And of course, to uh, help preserve or take care of your identity, you have to be an honorable model of the religion and your homeland in terms of your dealings or the way that you deal with other people and also in terms of behavior. So what about you? What are your suggestions for preserving or taking care of the Arab Islamic identity? So you can say that I will increase my knowledge about my own culture and identity because if you know more about your culture the and your identity, the more that you can show it to others, the more that you can uh, perform the practices, the rituals, and uh, also study about the customs, okay, to further improve your sense of self. And of course, you should also be a model of the Islamic religion and show good behavior because other people will be looking at you, okay? They would know what distinguishes you from all others. They would identify you as a true Arab Muslim. So the second factor that influences Arab Islamic identity would be, of course, the Arabic language, okay? So why is it important? It, because it's a medium of communication. When you say medium of communication, it's the language that we use 
to understand each other, okay? Understanding between individuals of the Arab nation is brought about by the Arabic language. It's also a link between the past and the future and acts as the treasury in which the glories of Arabs are kept and through which the heritage of ancestors can survive. Because, of course, you need the Arabic language to preserve history in writing, okay? That's why it's a link between past and future. Without the Arabic language, there would be uh, no history books for us to read, okay, about the glories of uh, the Arabic history, okay? And Arabs have to be proud of the Arabic language and maintain, develop, and enhance it because it is also the language of the Holy Quran. Now, apart from Arabic language and the Islamic faith, Another factor influencing Arab Islamic identity would be common history, okay? Which is, uh, you know, the thread that links all of the Arabs. They share the same history, basically. The Arab nation has a glorious history filled with victories and glories, okay? There's a strong link between individuals of the Arab nation and has to be preserved, okay, or taken care of due to its great importance as it resembles or shows a reflection of the nation's past and a translation of its present, okay? Of course, history talks about the past, right? When you say translation of its present, it also means that right now, we are all living through history, okay? Today can be history tomorrow. So that could also be part of common history of Arab nations. And uh, this is a way through which Arabs draw a picture of the future. And people that have no history have no existence. So, of course, you identify yourself with the history of your nation. That's why history is very important because it tells you where you come from. Okay, so how was, uh, how was your uh, country before? Okay, and what happened? What were the events that led you to uh, distinguishing yourself as who you are right now. So, again, the three factors would be Islamic religion, Arabic language, and common history. You can check out more by reading through Qatar History and Citizenship Grade 4. I will see you in the next video.